what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate this logarithm. So there's a couple things that's going on. One thing is we have three is being multiplied by my logarithm ln of e to the fourth, right? So there's a couple rules that we can remember. Um, and I'm going to solve this two different ways. Uh, first way is, remember, whenever we have an ln, right? Actually, well, not, let's not call it that right now. Whenever I have an uh, exponent, I can always put my exponent in front of my logarithm and write it as a multiplication. So right now I have a multiplication problem. Well, I can rewrite this as another multiplication. I should bring this 4 down in front. So it's going to be 3 times 4 times ln of e. All right? So remember, when you bring that number in front, you're multiplying it by the ln. Now, what is ln of e? Remember, ln has a base e. All right, so that's going to be my base. So I'm saying e raised to what number gives me e? Well, the answer, obviously, for that is going to be 1. So it will be 3 times 4 times 1. Well, that answer equals 12. Um, the other way we could simply look at this is ln of e raised to the 4. Well, one thing I know is I already know that ln of base e to the e is going to equal 1. And whenever that's raised to that exponent inside of my logarithm, I know that this is just going to be left with 4. So it would be 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. All right? So that's how you evaluate a logarithm without using a calculator.